Hey, all right, you black hat SEO folks. Welcome back to the channel. I'm gonna to try to make this a lot faster because I am getting some feedback that some of the videos are getting long. I don't, I'm gonna go as long as I need to to try to educate you on some of this, but I don't know. I mean, sometimes I talk a little bit, you know? Shoot me, I don't know. <clears throat> all right, so I just wanna show you how to do some keyword research. This is my favorite way to do keyword research. There's a couple of different methods. I will document those methods. The purpose of this channel is that you will get to know everything it is that I do. I mean, you, you don't even need a course. You don't need to buy a course. People have been asking me to do a course. I'll talk about some things that I can offer at the end of this video if you actually wanna do them, but uh, you're gonna give me flack for it. You're gonna clap at me. It's because it's kind of expensive. SEO now is expensive. And so um, I come from a different sort of caliber of doing SEO for big media companies and so the stuff that I'm showing you are things that big media companies do. So uh, that means that, yeah, there's a big price tag to it. But anyway, this is my favorite method. Um, I'm gonna just show you some cool things. We're gonna do this live. This is unscripted constantly, okay? It's unscripted. So sometimes I mess up, deal with it. I don't know. I, I don't wanna edit this video because basically that's, that's the point is that it's unedited. I'm not trying to trigger you, okay? <clears throat> so let's get into keyword research. One of my favorite methods, my own hidden little secret, there's one feature and filter in here that you're gonna love. Okay, so let's say you're just wanting to kind of browse the internet and come up with some ideas. This is the, the biggest problem that I've heard is how do I do keyword research and get ideas? How do I know which keywords to go after? You know, I don't wanna do a topical map, but I do just wanna get some keywords and, and just start with some ideas. Yes, ideation is really key. Funny enough, in Ahrefs, here's something that you can do which I think is super cool. You could just press search. You don't need to put in a search term, which is really cool. And it gives you all of the keywords on the internet that they've tracked. Isn't that cool? I don't know why they wouldn't tell you that you could do that. It does not very intuitive that you could do that. Um, okay, I also have this like really legacy version of Ahrefs. And so you might not get all of these keywords. Um, I've been using Ahrefs for seven years and they're trying to kick me off now and putting me onto some different pricing. So, uh, yeah, so like I'm gonna have to pay a lot more money now, which sucks, and so you would too. Okay, so as you can see, all the keywords show up. First thing that we need to do here is eliminate some of the brands, and there's some things that you don't want to appear, obviously. If you're looking at my page, uh, you can see we don't want this to appear in our uh, keyword research, okay? So what we're gonna do pretty simply is uh, go to the word count um, filter here. And you could do three, five, play around with these filters as I mess with them, okay? You're gonna have different bands that you can play with, but for now I'm just gonna say four, okay? And then do that, and then okay. Now that we've got that, it's eliminating some of the single word brands, maybe not the Wordle stuff, like Wordle of the day is one, but you can start to see that we're, we're getting a little bit more around like real search terms, right? So like things where like people are searching the internet for, I don't know, stuff they want, okay? Uh, I'm trying to go quick here. Sorry, it's gonna be another long video. Um, anyway, and so word, word count is one. Put that in as like four, maybe five, six, if you wanna play with it, that's totally fine, okay? Now, a lot of people are gonna go look at keyword difficulty. Don't do that. It, keyword difficulty does not matter. It's just a metric that Ahrefs has put together. It doesn't matter, it's junk, okay? Like it's not gonna, you don't need links on your articles. I just don't know why people think that you do, you, you don't. But this is really key, this lowest DR, okay? So what this, what this is doing is it's basically filtering keywords and it's saying within this keyword, there must be a website that ranks in the top five that has a domain rating of a particular score. So we're gonna put in five to start, okay? That, that means that it's an easy keyword, quote unquote, okay? <clears throat> now, you could put in 10, 15, 20. This is where you really have to start analyzing your own domain, some of the link building that you are doing and, and understanding what keywords you can compete with when it comes to your website. We'll talk about that more. This is your content strategy. That's truly your content strategy. So when you do keyword research, I mean, it's, it'll only get you so far. But anyway, I digress. I'm gonna put in lowest DR of five, okay? Now I've got quite a few keywords to start looking through, right? I don't even know what half these things are. Yes or no wheel, I don't even know, okay? But I, this, is, this is live, unscripted. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just include a word, 
I'm gonna say we have a cooking blog, okay? And what I wanna do is I wanna find, I don't know, I'm gonna think of recipes and cooking makes sense. Maybe I would do pots, pans, those types of things as included words in the keyword, okay? But for now, I'm just gonna do recipe because we're going through a hypothetical uh, cooking blog, okay? <clears throat> All right, so cool. Now I've actually got some stuff that's showing up that's pretty interesting to me. So ginger turmeric shot recipe. Let me open up that one. Okay, that's pretty interesting to me. French onion pasta recipe. Okay, also very interesting to me. Alabama hot pockets recipe. Also very interesting to me. You can see the keyword difficulty is roughly zero, which is cool. The reason why we didn't do keyword difficulty filters is because some of them actually like doesn't, it doesn't equate, it doesn't really make a whole lot of sense. Like chicken and noodles recipe actually has a site on there. We'll, we'll see this, that's, that's got a very low domain rating. So if you're constantly just trying to basically pigeonhole yourself by keyword difficulty, that's not gonna work. Okay, so I go through here and I'm like, well, yes, number one, this is a keyword that we can start to write against and I think that's super cool. You've also got all these that you potentially could start writing about, so there's some more ideas. You're gonna wanna start to put these into a Google Doc and start tracking what you're writing about, start tracking that you've actually published them, et cetera, and that'll kind of build into your topical authority if you wanna call it that, or a topical map, okay? But here's what's really cool. So if you scroll down, and you go to the website, you can see this is the one that triggered all the filters, the four domain rating from showing up, okay? What I like to do is I like to double down on this. We already said that this is a keyword that we would go after. I like to double down by actually going into the overview, eliminating some of the trailing URL here, okay? And seeing what's underneath the website, seeing if there's anything else that's interesting. So within this website, I mean, I'm probably gonna say no, I'm probably gonna say like, I don't think there's really anything else that I would be going after, but there may be, there may be some ideas here. Okay, crispy rice sandwich. Maybe this is definitely an idea. You could see it ranks number one. I mean, 250 in terms of search volume. I mean, if you're getting a, a site started, excuse me, you're gonna have to, you know, you're gonna have to start small. So this is definitely a great idea. So now I've got even more keywords to kind of go after. Okay, let's go into the next uh, search term and the next kind of content idea. The French onion pasta recipe, we opened this up. You can see how quick I can do this, right? Okay, so we've got a couple here, two, two, uh, in terms of domain rating. I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna open up the site. Now the chances are one of these is gonna hit in terms of having like some pretty decent traffic on it. So like this one has like an okay amount of traffic, but still not very good, but I'm still gonna go ahead and go through the keywords and I would probably come up with some ideas here. So chicken tikka masala soup, uh, that's a great one. Right, so now I've got even more keywords that I can put into a spreadsheet. You're gonna to wanna to put these into a spreadsheet and start tracking them. I don't think Ahrefs is a very good tracker. <clears throat> All right, sorry, I'm clearing my throat a lot, but we're gonna keep going. So um, I think this is probably gonna be, just based on the domain name, we can see that this is probably gonna be a good one. So uh, again, domain rating of three. Uh, let me go to the site. I don't know, I've never, never gone to this site. Okay. Not really that many great keywords to go from in there, but I'm gonna keep going. Here's another one, I'm going very fast. Lean Cuisine, um, okay, five in terms of domain rating. Okay, I'm gonna go through this one. Let's hope that one of these sites has some decent traffic. Okay, so this one's definitely growing in traffic. It's not a ton, again, but tons of keyword ideas that are underneath the site. So like Honey Buffalo Chicken Tenders, I'd be going for that one. And this is like presuming that you've got a, a starter website, okay? So if you've got a bigger site, you're gonna do a different level of keyword research, but th these are all starter ideas for you to kind of get the ball rolling. And this is my favorite way to, uh, to get some ideas and, um, and start getting them actually published, right? So the other thing that I think we need to cover though is uh, how you actually look at the content and how you do keyword research because if you just stick within Ahrefs, that's not gonna work. So you're gonna need to look through the actual content itself and understand how you compete against that content. Different factors that are playing into Google's ranking algorithms that might be able to kind of pull different levers on your website and allow you to rank better. So that is what I would call a content strategy. So that would be ways of making better content than what's out there. No, it's not skyscraper. No, it's not that. 
Um, skyscraper is just you know adding on additional sections into an article. That's not going to work. You need to make things better. Like so, for example, maybe it's just more clear recipes here. Maybe it's more schema updates to the recipes. Um, maybe it's better imagery. Um, maybe it's tables and breakdowns. Maybe it's, for example, on this page, okay, they've got the calories and all that sort of stuff. But maybe there's questions like, is this good for somebody who's uh, gluten intolerant? You know, th those types of things to be able to make better content. But that's the content strategy portion that I think is actually far more critical to execution of SEO than we give it a credit for. So a lot of people just want to do the keyword research and then start writing articles and they're like, that's your problem. That's why things aren't working. So you're going to need to read the articles. You're going to need to go through the page one results and understand before you start writing anything, before you start using any tools, what is your actual content strategy to make better content than what's out there? And Google will rank that for sure. I definitely know that. So if you're doing keyword research, click through, read the article, understand what strategy that you're trying to execute. Okay. You don't just start from here and then just throw it all over. That's not going to work. But in terms of finding some really easy to win keywords that when you do make better content for it, that you will rank and you do have a great opportunity to rank even with a very low domain rating website, here's a perfect way to go about doing it. Okay. So, uh, that is my one way of doing this. Let's just go through one last one. Okay. The El Paso taco seasoning. One last one here and waiting for it to load. Okay. Um, off the cutting board.wordpress.com. Okay. I probably wouldn't go for that site in terms of opening it up because it's got a wordpress.com one. But um, this one, intentionally eat low, uh, low in terms of 30. So I probably, I'm going to open this one up for sure. Why not open it up and take a look at what's under the hood? Okay. All right. Not so great either in terms of traffic. So they're struggling as well. So, you know, yeah, cooking is super hard to get into y'all. If you're going to try to be doing that, like, you know, it's, it's, it's very hard, but um, there are sites out there that are doing well with like a pretty low domain rating. Um, if I were to keep going through here, if you're watching up until this point, feel free, you can drop off. Okay. But, uh, but I will continue is, um, you know, you can do yeah banana bread recipes for a bread machine. This one's really good. Okay. I have a feeling we're going to get some good stuff in here. Yeah. See, so Bakerology, I mean, a zero in terms of domain rating. I mean, this is like, this is easy pickings, honestly. Um, you just have to be able to make better content. You need to know how to do that. Content strategy is everything these days, in my opinion. But if we go into this site, this is a 23 in terms of domain rating. I'm liking the way that this site is getting a lot of traffic. And so I have a good feeling about this guy. Yeah. Okay. So there's a, there's an actual site in my opinion, 87,000 in terms of traffic, 23 domain rating. So not super high. Yeah, this is this is a killer website, right? So like this is one that I would be going after trying to totally compete with for sure. All right, so if you watched up until this point, please like, subscribe and comment and do all the things. But everybody has been asking me a question and that question has been what what can I offer to the community? Everyone's been wanting me to offer some type of service. Honestly, keep in mind you could just watch this channel and you're going to learn everything that you need to learn. So don't give me flack. But here's the thing, if you want me to build a niche site for you, I will do it. Um, you know, I'll kind of soup to nuts, start to finish of getting the ball rolling for you. Um, you know, we can pick a new, new domain or you can give me your existing domain. Um, we'll do some of this content strategy on it right away. So figuring out what keywords that you can rank for and targeting them and just essentially growing your traffic um, and growing the real clicks too that are going into Google Analytics. So if you have like an e-com shop or something, I think that's really key. Um, generally speaking, yeah, to do this, it's gonna need to be 30 hours of keyword research, roughly 100 articles um, coming from the team that I use. Uh, they're gonna need to be editorially reviewed. Um, there is gonna be some EAT foundation built onto it. I could show you how to do that too through all of this. Um, and the thing is, is yeah, one to five major public publication site mentions. So things like Lifehacker, USA Today, like big news sites, you're gonna need that if you really want to uh, like play this game. This game is really expensive. I hate to tell you, it's, it's very expensive if you really wanna get going. But if you want me to build you a starter site that you can take over and keep going with, I'll guarantee certain traffic based on the niche that you wanna pick. 
Um, the minimum investment, you're gonna give me flack for this, but it's just real. I mean, you're gonna need $15,000, which is a lot of money for a, mo a majority of you who are listening. And I know, go ahead and roast me up in the comments, but you have to understand a lot of big sites, which we can go over those big sites, they are spending millions of dollars a year. They've got 50, 60, 100 plus employees that they've hired to operate these companies. So I think a $15,000 investment, if you really are interested in doing this and growing your organic search reach, um, hopefully not to just build a niche site, but to build a brand and build a business on top of it, yeah, you're gonna need some money. And here's why, because the, the new site mentions alone, we'll go over these in other videos, are three to $5,000. I mean, it's pay to play. Right, like doing actual PR, it's 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 very pay to play, and then a real editorial team, not just some crappy writing, is going to cost five thousand dollars a month as well. Okay, if you don't want to do that, I can take your existing site, and I can do all this research that I'm mentioning, pick an actual content strategy for you that I think will will get you real traffic. Usually, it's around fifty articles will get you the traction that you're looking for. Okay, they're gonna be, need to be completely unique based on the page one results. So this is what I mean with content strategy. It's not just picking keywords. That's not really gonna work. <clears throat> and yes, we'll do some content optimization like Surfer SEO or any of them that are out there. We don't really use this in a way to just rely on it 100%, okay? It's, it's, there's a different method to using it. Maybe I'll go over that in a different video too. Um, typically it's about 50 hours of work, 50 articles. I would say this is a good price tag. So $3,000 and you'll get, again, some traction, some traffic. You'll have to tell me what your site is about and I'm happy to help. If you really want this, you don't really even need to buy this, I'm telling you. And the reason why is because you can just keep watching the channel. You can just keep watching the channel and it's completely free. Cause I just, I feel like people are coming to me, they're saying, hey, I wanna buy something from you. So if I'm gonna sell you something, it's gotta actually work. I'm not gonna sell you a course that's not gonna work or some affiliate links that aren't gonna work. It's just like, let us help you specifically uh, if you're really wanting to invest time and dollars into this. If you're taking this seriously, then okay. Then that's, that's what I think will work is if you take it seriously and we do too, then that'll work. That's my email, theinternetcaretakers at gmail.com and you can email me, all right? Thank you, Black Hatters. Have a good rest of your day, and I hope to see those traffic charts go up and to the right.